Seizures are a common medical problem. Although they can be frightening to watch, most seizures are brief and stop by themselves. Seizures that don't stop in seconds or minutes are a dangerous life-threatening medical emergency. Paramedics often have medications that can stop the seizures, but the best way to give them is not known. Many paramedics start an IV to give medicine directly into a vein. This works well, but is hard to do in a person who is seizing. It can also take some time and delay treatment. Another way to give the medicine is as a shot given into a muscle. Giving the medicine this way is faster, but it may not stop the seizure as quickly. We are doing clinical research to figure out whether giving anti-seizure medicine works better and more quickly when given through an IV or when given as a shot in the muscle. Two similar medicines will be used. Both are already used by paramedics in the field and by doctors in the hospital to stop seizures. One is commonly given IV and the other is commonly given as a shot in the muscle. In this study, the shot is given using an auto-injector. Some people know about a device called an EpiPen, which is an auto-injector used by people with severe allergies. This is the same thing, both anti-seizure medicine. Every patient in this study is treated with anti-seizure medicine by the paramedics. Half of the patients get the medicine through an IV and are given a shot in the muscle without medicine. And half of the patients get the medicine as a shot in the muscle plus an IV without medicine. Neither the patient nor the paramedic will know which injection has the real medicine. Both methods of giving this medicine are used routinely. Patients not participating in the study are treated by paramedics according to protocols of their local EMS system. In routine care, anti-seizure medicine may be given by IV or as a shot into a muscle, just like in the study. The purpose of this study is to find out which type of routine care is the best way for paramedics to stop someone from seizing. The side effects of this kind of anti-seizure medicine are the same whether the medicine is given IV or as a shot in the muscle. They can include sleepiness and shallow breathing. If severe, these can require putting a tube into the throat to help assist breathing. Such breathing tubes are also needed in some patients due to the length or severity of their seizures rather than as a side effect of the medicine. This research will find out if side effects are more common when giving the anti-seizure medicine one way or the other, or if they are equally safe. Many patients with seizures that will not stop are those with a history of previous seizures, but many others have not had seizures before. Seizures can be the result of epilepsy, drugs or drug withdrawal, tumors, stroke, injury, or other problems. Seizures that last a long time are often fatal. More rapid and more successful treatment of seizures that are not stopping on their own is associated with better survival and quality of life afterwards. What if I don't want to participate in this study? If you do not participate in the study, you will receive the standard treatment used by paramedics in your community. This may be medicine given through an IV or a shot in the muscle, or it may be medicine inserted in the rectum. The medicine may be either of the medicines being tested in the study or another similar medicine. Because paramedics must act quickly to treat seizures, and because you cannot tell paramedics your wishes while you are seizing, the only way to let paramedics know that you do not want to participate in this study is to have your wishes noted on a medic alert tag or bracelet. Patients who have seizures often wear such tags. Paramedics check these tags as part of their emergency evaluation. If the words Rampart declined are on your tag, you will not be enrolled in the research. Can I choose which medicine I receive in the study? No. Which medicine is given to each patient is determined at random, like flipping a coin. This is done to make sure that the comparison of the two medicines is fair. 
Nobody will know which medicine you received until the study is over. Who would be included in the study? The study involves patients who are having seizures that are not stopping by themselves. Paramedics will enroll patients who are still seizing when paramedics arrive if the seizures have been continuing for more than five minutes. Adults and children estimated to be over 29 pounds will be enrolled in the study. That usually means children about two and a half years and older. Patients will only be enrolled if the hospital to which they are going to be taken by ambulance is a participating hospital. Patients will not be enrolled if their seizure is caused by hitting their head or low blood sugar. They will not be enrolled if they are known to be allergic to either anti-seizure medicine, if their heart is beating very slowly, if they are known to be pregnant, or if they are in jail or prison. Patients with a medic alert tag that includes the phrase, Rampart declined, will also not be enrolled. What if there's a problem and I need to know which drug I or my child receives? You, your paramedics, and your doctors will not know which of the two study medications you received. Since the two medications used in this trial are similar and wear off in a matter of hours, it is not expected that there will ever be a medical need for you or your doctors to know which medication you received. If such a need arrives, your doctor can contact the study team to find out what medication you received. What are the benefits of participating? The patients treated in this study can directly benefit from their participation. They may get treated with a medicine that makes seizures stop more quickly. Faster control of seizures is thought to reduce the risk of further seizures and improve patient recovery. Participants and research are also helping others because their participation can also benefit future patients. Because of what we learn in this study, patients with seizures will get better care in the future. What are the risks of participating? The two medicines used in this study are already used every day to treat seizures in ambulances and hospitals. The risks of these medicines and other medicines used to stop seizures in the ambulance are similar. These include shallow breathing and getting very sedated. There is a possibility that one or the other study medicine may stop seizures more quickly. If so, some patients will get the slower of the two. In this study, however, both medicines are likely to be more effective than a third drug, diazepam, also known as Valium, which is the most common alternative. As in regular medical care, paramedics can also give additional medicine as needed for seizures that continue for more than 10 minutes after getting the study medicine.